another experiment. Today I am going to explain you the dispersion of light through a glass prism. That how we should perform this experiment with the help of glass prism. So for this experiment there are certain requirements just like a glass prism, a cardboard, white sheet of paper, pencil, scalar and the thumb pin. These things are required. And today I am going to explain you that how we should perform the dispersion of light through glass prism in a simple way, on a simple step. <coughs> okay. So I am going to explain you the experiment in a step wise. As you should follow these simple steps, you are able to perform this experiment very smoothly and properly. So our first step is that we should have to fix this white sheet of paper with the help of thumb pin on the cardboard like this. You should fix it in this way like this. I am going to fix it. Okay. After that, with the help of a scale, you have to mark a line which is known as a baseline. It is known as a baseline. Base line. Now put the glass pill and marks it outer boundary with the help of pencil like this. You have to mark the outer boundary of the glass pill. The angle which is just in front of you is known as angle of prism. It is known as angle of prism. Okay. You have to mark a 90 degree angle with the help of a protector like this. You have to mark a 90 degree length angle. After that, you have to take an incident ray of any angle with the help of normal which is known as angle of incident i after that put this glass prism on its original place original position like this and uh, try to mark two or three pins on the incident line like this And try to observe this line from the other side of the glass prism like this. I'm going to just see you and mark these pins in a proper straight line so that all the four pins may appear in a same straight path or same straight line like this. Now see, all these four points are in a single straight path like this. After marking this, we are going to remove these pins and mark a circle on the place where we are going to remove the pin like this. Okay, and remove the pins. After that, draw a line like this. of this now just see connect these lines improve these lines and we are going to form the angle of division like this is we take a large angle so this is a large angle division if we are going to take a small angle then the small angle of division is observed and we have to draw and also normal on this plane and the angle which we get is known as angle of emergence P which is equal to I. Angle of action is equal to angle of emergence. Emergence ray. And we should take three readings of taking incident ray at 30 degree angle, 45 degree and 60 degree angle and so on. So on and after that we are going to observe the angle of deviation at different points so i'm just only explaining you the process by which we are going to perform this experiment with the help of uh, glass prism and in a simple way and i think it is uh, helpful to all of you that how you should perform this experiment and this will be performing three times we have to take three different readings to calculate our angle of deviation thank you for watching and I am just requesting to all my listeners please like and subscribe my channel and share to maximum students so that some more students may get the benefit of it. Thank you once again. Thank you for watching. Thank you.